figured before I put my shirt on, I would tell you guys where this set is from. I don't think they have this color anymore, but I could be wrong. But the sports bra and the shorts are both Lululemon. I can give you like a better shot in the gym or in the mirror. Um, they actually didn't even come together. I got this bra like a couple years ago and I got these shorts more recently. Actually, I have them in my cart right now because they're my favorite shorts. Um, but anyways, I figured I would tell you guys because I'm always wondering where people's activewear is from. And if I'm wearing it, chances are it's Lululemon. That's pretty much the only activewear that I wear. It's just my favorite. But I want to give you guys a rundown of the day, all the things. So it is about 8.15 if I'm right. It's 8.23. Okay. It's 823 and I'm going to go over to the gym. Today is Wednesday. It's July 5th, which hopefully I'll get this vlog up today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow though. And um, I've been trying to vlog more, but I didn't do it on my camera. I did it on my, like, the phone that I use to record some of the videos. If you use the back camera, it's better quality than the camera that I have. It's just stupidly crispy. Also, um, anyways, I signed with the manager, and she was like, girl, you need to get content rolling. You need to get content posted. And so I've been doing a ton of TikToks, and no one is freaking watching them, which is low-key getting on my nerves. Um, but anyways, so that's that. I got up this morning, was on my phone forever, was checking emails. I'm waiting on an Amazon email to come through because I'm an Amazon associate and they give you a gift card every month. And then you like obviously buy things with that gift card and then post about it, etc. And I've been finding the best things on Amazon, like the literal best things. And I need the gift card to come through, but it's not, it's not yet. So anyways, I have a meeting today with my accountants, which makes me want to cry. Um... I'm not excited about that at all, in the slightest, at all. Ugh. I have a meeting tomorrow. Actually, I actually have therapy tomorrow. I was supposed to have therapy yesterday. Wait, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm getting my nails done because they're crusty. These, both of my middle nails are broken underneath and so it's snagging on everything. Um, also, I dyed my eyebrows yesterday and got it all on my freaking skin, which is tragic. Whatever. Today, on the agenda, I have lots of orders to fill. Got to take those to the post office. While I'm out, I might as well just pop on over to Folktale, which is a coffee shop in my town. The way it's divine. The way that I have a addiction to their coffee. <laughs> it's so good. It is Onyx. I asked them what brand they use, and they were like, we use Onyx. And I was like, well, let me just write that down. Anyways. <sighs> That's on the agenda today. I have many updates, lots of things, but I need to go ahead and get my workout in and get those things done. But I also, no, I'll show you those later. Anyway, I need to work out. It's push day because Monday and Tuesday I have felt like trash. I have PMS and sometimes when I get PMS, I really just struggle. Like it hurts my body. Like I know that sounds dramatic to some people who don't have like hormonal imbalances, but I literally, it's like as if the week before some days, my, all my muscles are just so sore and like just tight. Like yesterday I was doing a Pilates workout with two pound weights and thought I was going to do pass away in the first five minutes. And like, I'm pretty like... I'm pretty fit, you know, like, but like actually, um, so I was like, why on God's green earth am I about to pass away? Then I was like, hormones, that'll do it to you. So I charged my laptop. It's on charge right now. Cause I have a billion and 10 emails. I had launched the new strawberry plumping lip oil on Monday. So I have a ton of orders for that. I'm going to have to fill the rest of the orders today. Take those to the post office. Cause the post office wasn't open yesterday on the fourth. Um, I need to clean up my room to be honest with you. Like it's just kind of messy i did my laundry i've been going back and forth between here and new york and like my laundry has just been horrid to be honest with you because i get here and like how it worked is i was here for a week gone for a week to new york here for a week gone for a week to new york here for two weeks gone to new york go i go on monday and it's just like bruh i'm tired of traveling not tired of seeing my boyfriend but i'm tired of traveling um but anyways, I just have a bunch of clean clothes on the floor, actually. <sighs> I have so many things to do. Also, I was supposed to go to Louisville tomorrow, which is three hours away. I was actually... There's so many things. There's so many things to update you guys on. But I don't have time right now because i got to go work out. So I'm going to go work out. going to go do a push day. Might get some content of that. And then um, that's the tea. Oh, hey. It's later in the day. Just a little later. I'm still being a good vlogger, but it's a little later in the day. It is 11.29, so I worked out till 9.35 because I looked at the clock and I was like... 
and I went upstairs and filled some orders. Um, I think I said this earlier, but I launched the Strawberry Plumping Lip Oil on Monday. And so today's Wednesday, post, po post, what? The post offices were closed yesterday, and then today I'm taking the, to the post office. And yeah, I said this, I'm going to stop for coffee. Um, but I was filling all those orders, and I'm still not done. I have four bags, four huge bags going. Um, but anyways, I've been looking for a car, and I've been looking specifically for a Porsche Cayenne used. Um, and they're really hard to find, honestly. And I've been looking in Lexington, I've been looking in Knoxville, I've been looking, like, everywhere around where I am, and to be honest with you, it's just really freaking hard to find a Porsche Cayenne. That's a good deal. That is what I'm looking for, what I want. That's what I'm looking for right now, and then I'm going to head downstairs, make me some lunch, go back upstairs to my office, work in my office, and then I still need to film today, but honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to get to film today. It may just be an all, like, tomorrow thing. Um... But anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. So, figured out an update you on that. I'll take you downstairs to get my food, probably, just so you can see what I'm eating, you know? Oh, hi, welcome to my office. Um, I ate some food, which was very needed and necessary. And I have one billion orders more to fill. I actually have 26, and I have four bags, and I still have to go to the post office. And it's already one. So, that's a tea on that. If you've never ordered from Fawn Beauty, which is my brand, obviously, we have these cute little boxes, cute pink bubble wrap. You get your whatever you ordered. Cute little Fawn Beauty cards. On the back it tells you about the serum lip gloss. Blah, blah, blah. Package the box. The um, tape is water activated. Oh, crap. Anyway, it's cute. I'll show you the tape. But anyways, I have to fill all these orders. Then I have some other colors that need to be restocked. So I need to go through and restock those on the website and everything. And fill some backup orders. Etc. Boom. This is what it looks like. Cute. Put the order on it. Put the shipping label. Put it in the big bag. And then continue with all the orders. Anyways, I just got the, um, oh, approval for, uh, what's it called? Genuinely, what's it called? Oh, the skincare, which I'm super excited about. I think that'll be fabulous. So I have to go through, approve that, or disapprove it. So I'm just going to fill some orders, do some emails, etc. Things like that. No biggie. No big deal. I don't think I'm going to film today. I'm literally <gasps> exhausted. Like, actually exhausted. It is 2.30 and I've been filling orders this entire time. And stickering boxes, putting lip glosses in boxes, all the things. I haven't even done my skincare today. Like, literally not done my skincare at all. And then now I have to go to the post office. And I was so excited to go to Folktale, the coffee shop. And I remember they stopped selling food at 2.00. <laughs> I'm literally upset. I'm not care. That really gets on my last nerve. My back's killing me. There's a lot of complaints going on. But nevertheless, I'm going to change my clothes. I have some more emails to catch up on whenever I get home. Today is most definitely not a filming day for, like, content. Tomorrow will be, though. And then I'll get my nails done. 
Um, but I have so many bags to take with me, and then I'll probably vlog that, taking that too. But like, I'm literally exhausted. And it's 2.38. And it's been like this for days. And I'm really grateful, but like, I'm so tired at the same time. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I just wanna sleep. Not really, I don't wanna sleep, but like, I wanna rest, you know? Have a little, a little downtime, so. That's what we're working with. Be so for real. I look crazy. Genuinely, but it's fine. I'm gonna put on a bra. Gonna put on a okay outfit and gonna head to the post office. Now this with the OOTDs. Black skim shirt. Aritzia TNA butter. These are so good. I love the TNA butter uh, leggings and biker shorts. They're a little bit longer than the Lululemon ones. But I don't like to work out in these as much. I just like to wear them for like have a pair of biker shorts. Glasses are sunglasses. I mean glasses are Amazon. I can link them. Earrings. My collection with linked. Jenny Bird. Shop CC Luxury. Anna Claire. My OTD. This is the laundry I was talking about. I've got to put that away. Gym clothes. That's a return then. Laundry. Anyway. Where's your outfit from? Walmart. The whole thing? Yeah. Pop off coin. Period. So, now that I'm sad because they don't carry the food, do you know they stopped selling the food at two? Well, at Folk Shell. That's so sad. No, literally, I know. Anyway. I don't even eat there, so it's not sad for me. It's really sad for me. Well, I'll get that ham and turkey sandwich and no bacon. Yeah, but you don't even like it. You don't even like it. Period. Okay, we're on our way to the post office. But, bro, quit sitting that on there. <laughs> I got a PR package in the mail. Literally. You know, I was going to ask you if you could get that PR package, but I forgot about it. Kiss my little butt. Oh, period. Give me the house. No, I didn't do it. Thank you. But did, did you have the house key on? No, it's not a house key. You don't even have a house key, I think. Yeah, we do. I ain't never seen it. I've lived here for 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. You lived here longer. No, how? We built the house 12 years ago. Oh, <gasps> shut up. I think this is our new eyeliner. Because this is the look that Hung Van Gogh did. This is so good. Who is that? Bye. Selena Gomez. Oh, huh. Don't be ridiculous. Sorry. Hey. Period. <gasps> Period. Period. A brow pencil, a brow lifting gel, and then all of the... Does she have, like, her own makeup line or something? Yeah. Well. Wait, you guys, this PR package is actually so cute. Okay. Pounds. So, it's totally <laughs> adorable. This is what it looks like. And then you open it up. It's got all the pictures. Behind here, it's got some of the um, liners. It's got the brow gel, the brow pencil, and the eye... The mascara. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Then, this is stunning. This look is like hung killed that look and then we've got all of the eyeshadow stick colors you want to see yeah I'm and not then much it talks about the rare impact yeah she says she's not much of a makeup now but whenever she was little like mm -hmm. little smaller you're so little i was like three yeah, I have my three. own makeup videos she did and I mom did. would post them on facebook or i would post them on facebook for her and People lived for them. Like, lived. I pretended like they were not even in the room with me, and I pretended like people were screaming my name. And I was like, TBH, shut up. Anyways, um, they were so cute, and I wish that she would do them again. And every time we go out in public, somebody's always like, Anna Claire, do the makeup videos, and she won't, she won't do them anymore. I don't want to. I take too much of my playing time or TV time. Don't be lazy. I don't you have to put in the work. I was eating alive. Eating alive over 4th of July weekend. And I truly do mean that. I'm talking like... Same look. Those, yeah, I'm, I have like 30 bug bites on my legs. Like, it's on my nerves. Period. One bit me like right. Um, And I have not been bit all summer long. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that was in me in. Put me in jail. Put me immediately in jail. That was terrifying. I'm so sorry to you, to you all. You come over when the wine's all gone. Anyways, 
I was eating alive and so I'm itching to death. Also, if you don't have these skim shirts, they're the best shirts on earth. They're so soft, aren't they? Yes. That's reason. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get the mail and we're going to... Jezebel! Jezebel with the brakes! They're so dry. Or wet or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get the mail and then we're going to head to the post office and the camp. Let me hold it while you're okay, getting Okay, period. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't get the mail. Why? Wow. Because... Um... <laughs> Because it was, I was too far away. Genevieve. Okay, I don't want to hold this. There's no road. I need a, I need a car mail. She does. Um, Everly has one. Okay, well, I'm not Everly. You can mow the wind. Okay, they get it. Sure. Get up there. Be cute. The world's literal best <laughs> sourdough sandwiches. You got vanilla iced coffee, mm -hmm. cappuccino. Mm -hmm. I got. I can't wait. We just got out, oh, like we went in fog shot. I forgot to record anything, sorry, but I did record it the other day, so, so maybe I'll insert that it. clip or something. But like, they stopped serving lunch, like I said, so that was really sad. And they even still had the lunch menu out, so I got excited and I was like, oh period, they had the lunch menu. They didn't. Um, but I got an iced cappuccino, oat milk cappuccino, you know that's my literal go-to. And she got, got, is your coffee good? Yeah. I got a milk caramel iced coffee. And we yeah. got the best Rice Krispie in the world. No, literally, they have like all kinds of baked goods in there, I'll obviously. Like it's a good coffee. Like but it's... I'm definitely going to Hold on. Okay. Well. Anyway, she wanted the Rice Krispie because it just sounded really good. Okay. Period. Can't really see And it's then hard. I tried it and I was like, wait a dang minute. That is the best Rice Krispie I've ever had. And I don't know if they use like double the butter. That's kind of what it tastes like. It's just like really buttery and it's gorgeous. It's like salty. It is the best right Is it not? It is. Like, I'm sorry, but that one blue brand, what's it called? The blue brand? I'm sorry, Kellogg's. but kiss my literal butt. Kiss her literal butt because this is delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's the best one we've ever had. So now we've got four bags to go drop off at the post office. Which and I will have to carry. Yeah, we're going to have to carry those inside and then we're going to go back home. And I've got lots more work to do and lots of emails that I've already received literally just dropping here. So... Don't eat that whole thing. Save me some. I'm about to make some dinner. And I eat super healthy. I know that I've talked about that multiple times. But I eat really, really healthy most of the time. And try to get like a ton of protein in just to, you know, be fit and whatnot. So I figured I would show you guys this recipe. It's actually from um, Sarah's Day. If you guys ever watch her. She's a fitness, like, YouTuber. She's been around for a hot minute. But anyway. Um, wait, that's a horrible angle. You can't even see me. Okay. So it's basically like, if you've ever had a salmon patty, it's like a salmon patty, except it's not. It's made with tuna, obviously. Um, so I use two packs of tuna, which this is 36 grams of protein for two packs. Then you have an egg, so that adds, uh, how many grams of protein is that? 36, and then you have seven more grams, I think, for that. Then I'm going to add in almond flour. A lot of this, too, is just, like, not a measurement. If I had to guess the amount of Dijon mustard, I would say probably a tablespoon and a half. Clearly, I'm almost out. And you want it to literally just be kind of like the texture of a meatloaf. Like, that sounds kind of gross. But, I mean, it's true. Just so you can, like, stick it together, if that makes sense. Then, you usually use purple onion, but we don't have any purple onion. So, I'm going to use regular 
onion and chop it up. I love an onion. But purple onion just gives it a really good flavor, honestly. And then all, also, if you have a fresh lemon, um, that's the best fresh because everything's better fresh. I don't have a fresh lemon either. <coughs> oh my gosh, Ben. Oh my gosh, I almost killed my dog. I'm the worst human alive. You okay? Don't even hit you, did it. I'm dramatic. Anyways, load that up with lots of onion because that's my personal journey. Like I said, no fresh lemon, but we have lemon juice. And I like a lot because, you know, that's good. I put a lot of pepper because it's fish. And it's the bob. And then paprika. If you have smoked paprika, use that. But I just have regular. Then what you're going to want to do is spray the heck out of your pan. I use avocado oil. I use this one. This one's from Costco. Um... But avocado has a higher burn rate than, or burn temperature than olive oil, so that's why I use it. But I do use a little bit of olive oil in the pan as well. And I get the pan really hot. So it's like you're going to fry, fry the um, tuna. I just take a fork, mix everything up. Like I said, you just kind of eyeball this. You want it to be not too liquidy. Obviously, it's going to be a little liquidy. You have an egg and you have lemon juice and Dijon mustard in there. But you don't want it to be super liquidy. Like, you want to be able to, to pack it together, etc. So that it makes it, like, into a ball. Like, kind of like texture of a cookie dough. How you can make that into a ball. Same kind of bob. Also, you can use... I mean, if you're, like, not caring about the health aspect, you could use regular flour and, like, make it into a salmon patty or whatever your heart desires. But uh, either almond flour or cassava flour is going to give you the best numbers and be, like, the healthiest. Next part, I literally just take it in an ice cream scoop. This has been such a long and tiring work day, truly. Like, just so tiring. It's 7 o'clock and I just ate and um, stopped working when I still have emails to do, to be honest with you. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, I came upstairs because I was like, oh, I got a paper cut. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, I want to relax and take a bath. And have my brain be off for a little bit. So I'm looking through my books. Currently. And I don't want an educational book. So. That's out. I want. Something to relax my brain. Something to be chill. You know. Chill vibes. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize the camera was like this. My bad. I don't know. I remember reading Ugly Love. And it being like such a good book. But I, And it was like my favorite Colleen Hoover book. And I'm like. Do I want to read Ugly Love again? I don't remember who was in it. I don't remember I don't remember this book. I might just read it again. I'm gonna bring this to the to the tub with me. And I'm gonna have a relaxing bath. I'm gonna turn on jazz music. I'm gonna live my best life. I'm gonna light a candle. And it's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a wonderful, cozy, stunning vibe. You guys know my favorite candles of all time are the Somerset Candle Company candles. I can have them linked down below. They just burn forever and ever. They smell up an entire room within 10 minutes of it burning. They're, ow. Burn myself. They're the wood wick. Like they have the wood um, little thing. So it has the crackling noise. I have a billion everywhere. I've just been listening to my jazz music, put my face mask on. I showed you guys the one that it is. It's the Fresh Umbrian Clay. I love this mask. It's my second time repurchasing it. It's just really, really good. Um, but anyways, I'm going to put my body hair on and then let's see what time it is. 
it's 7:36, so I'm just gonna coat myself in some lotion and oil. I'm trying to use the rest of this Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, and then I also got the Bum Bum Oil that goes on top of it. I've been loving to oil my body, so I'm gonna use that, and then just relax. Catch up on some emails, that sort of thing. I can't explain to you how tired that I am. And I know I've already said it, but let me reiterate how tired I am. What? What's the reason? It is... Actually, I don't even know what time it is, to be honest with you. Let me look. It's 10. And I'm so tired. And I've been laying on the heating pad on the highest setting for the last hour. Because my back is killing me so bad from sitting up for like 8 hours straight filling orders filling the tubes like just filling literally everything and working like crazy and i feel like my brain never stops during a work day like it just doesn't even whenever i was in the bathtub like i wasn't even on my phone i didn't even read and like my brain just doesn't stop i'm just like oh i need to do this i need to text this person get back to them i need to deposit you know i need to get the deposit done for the photo shoot in the 26 i have to get my nails done tomorrow and my nails had to be done for the photo shoot so I'm like, do they need to be pink? Can they be a different color? Like, does it matter? I've been working on stuff for potentially an eyeshadow palette, messaging back and forth with them, talking to people for custom boxes, doing emails. Like, whenever you own your own business and also do social media, like, that's both two full-time jobs. And it's crazy. Like, your brain literally never gets a chance to just relax. And so, honestly, at nighttime, I try to just not. Like, I'm trying to just not be on my phone, not be on TikTok, not be on Instagram, not be on anything. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, Chase just got out of a baseball game. And also, let me just take a moment to brag on him because he's an angel, okay? And I need to make a full video on this because it's been, like, a, a way over a year now since I, like, went through my breakup from last year and everything. And... Like, nobody knows what the heck happened. Everybody just knows, like, that, you know, we broke up. But there's a whole lot to the story. And to have somebody who's sweet and precious and wonderful as Chase is just literally one of the craziest, biggest blessings in the whole entire world. And he's an angel. Like, he genuinely is a literal precious angel and such a blessing. And just so sweet. And I don't even know. Like, I did not even know that anybody could be that way or like that you could be that in love with somebody or care about somebody that much but it's wild and it's just the best thing and if you have a gut feeling or you're just like you know I mean like I was engaged and like I knew that I was not gonna marry him like I was just like I know for a fact I'm not walking down to the aisle to that man and if you know that one then you like know that it's gonna end somehow two don't stress all that much and try to force things and be like, you know, like it's going to work out how it should work out and the perfect timing and all the things. And I would pray all the time for the perfect timing and for things to just work out. And don't get me wrong, my life was a living hell for a few months after that, but I would go through it a billion and ten times more to become the person I am and to like have the relationship that I have now and to know what I know now. So just a word of encouragement for the girlies out there who uh, are either in the midst of a breakup going through one or will go through one, and it's kind of inevitable because I feel like you just know. Like, if you know, you know. Also, my eyebrows are literally crazy right now. But anyways, those are my late night, late night bedtime thoughts. And you deserve the best, you know what I mean? Also, just like let me know if you want a hair tutorial on this, you know? I sleep in the silk scrunchies most of the time, if you're wondering because they're really good for um like no breakage and that sort of thing and tomorrow I'm gonna have to do like a blowout and all that kind of stuff but anyways I'm signing off <sighs> for the night and then I'm probably gonna pick up tomorrow and do a vlog or end the vlog or something like that so good night hi okay it's 10.04 I'm done with my workout I was gonna do a recovery day like I said ended up doing a leg day riddle me that Riddle, riddle me that. I don't know. Don't have any answers for you. 
Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I need to take that poster down. Somebody's falling off the entire wall. Period. Anyway, it's 10.04. I worked out. Um, did some glute bridges. Period. Did some leg extensions. Did some reverse lunges. Did some split squats. Did, you know, it was, a, it was okay workout. Wasn't anything crazy. Wasn't anything amazing. But it's definitely better than what I've been having. So I'm happy about that. Made myself a protein shake. I put way too much, way too much ice. And it doesn't taste like much of anything, but that's okay. I used one of the Core Life proteins. They're so expensive, but they're good. Um, it has like chocolate milk. I'm going to, I don't know. It's healthy. Anyway, so I'm going to have some of that as my post-recovery drink. As you can probably hear, the shower is running behind me. Because I'm going to hop in the shower and wash my hair. And then, um... Get everything ready, start filming, etc. We've got a busy, busy, busy day ahead of us. I went ahead and planned the content I'm going to film. I have a note in my phone that I just use uh, for videos I want to film that specific day or videos I want to get up just in general. Or if I'm filming a bunch and I'm in the mood, I'm like, okay, this is this would be a good idea to film this, etc. But I'm going to wash my hair, do a Dyson blowout, which I can, you know do a separate video on maybe i don't know we'll see but anyway that's that so i'm gonna hop in the shower and then brb it's a little later i made me some food like i said i was going to period and um dawson air wrapped my hair i ended up not doing a video because things really took a turn for the worse um we won't discuss it though uh anyways so now i really don't have an option this is like a side note let me just go ahead and say this as a side note um, for the people who are like, oh my gosh, influencers literally have like the best life, blah, blah, all this other kind of stuff. It's true. We do get to make our own hours and all that kind of thing. But sometimes whenever there's things going on in life, um, you just, you don't get to be a person. Like you don't get to, um, be like, I need PTO. You know, I don't, I don't, you don't get that. You have to be on screen. You have to be yourself. You have to show up for brands. You have contracts, you have things in line. And it's a lot easier to just walk through the halls of a uh, wherever you are um or sit in a cubicle and you know work on your computer or work whatever and not have to be like a personality like people who are talk show hosts and stuff and do it live or like do stuff every night live I don't know how they do it because it's almost like you don't get the chance to be a person like you just don't like you don't get to you don't get to have emotion you can have emotion on and off screen um or on and off camera but you can't have emotion on camera and that's just really annoying you know like last year whenever I was like going through everything that I was going through it was like I really struggled to even film any content whatsoever because I was mm, the saddest human and like there's just so much in personal in your personal life that like you just can't share online or like that I choose not to share online and I mean I know that's my own personal preference but like also would you you know uh, I doubt it because then you just get ridiculed by thousands of people so I don't know. But anyways, that's my side note. I have to film for Patrick Ta because I have to refilm for them. And I also have to refilm for Boy Smells using this uh, scent Woodphoria. And I just have to film some content today for Fawn Beauty and just in general. So I'm going to get to it um, and then head on over to my nail appointment, which is in a couple hours. I have to leave in about two hours. Um, so that's that. And I will take you guys along with me. My top is really cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. I doubt you can. Anyway, it's an old Abercrombie top, but they have a similar one on Amazon, like the one that I ordered. Um, so I'll try to link it for you guys, or if I can find this, if Abercrombie still by like some crazy way has it, then I will um, link it for you. But yeah, that is it as of now. Okay, I got done filming. It is 2:45, so I'm actually a little bit early. Um, I tried to do that. Also, like it's just the vibes were not there. the The lighting wasn't right. My camera was being weird. Like it just was not the day to film sometimes it's like that though there's nothing i can do about it but anyways um i gave myself a little extra time so that i could um potentially go get a coffee if i wanted to or go get an energy drink or something like that my makeup turned out really well like i said i think that i said i was doing a video with patrick ta and i mean like i genuinely love patrick ta's products they're so good so um did that i'm just cleaning up a few things before before I leave, and then, I don't really know. I'm not really in a coffee mood, per se. But, like, I know I'm going to want something. I know I'm going to be snacky. And, like, I want something to drink. So, it's like, if I had a really phenomenal coffee, that would just make my day, you know? 
but if I'm gonna go get it, then I need to get on the road. Also, I was gonna dress really cute, and like I had this cute top on for filming, like I showed you guys, but I always wear like sweatshorts or something like that in the like on my bottom half because I'm like they can't see my pants. I'm not sitting here in jeans for no good reason. But honestly, like it's kind of a cute little cute little outfit, you know. So I'm just wearing this. Don't care. I'm literally going to Salma's. She's the girl who does my nails. She's phenomenal. She's so good. Um, but I'm going to see her. And it's going to be fabulous. It's going to be a grand old time. Boone. I had to go get Boone out of the garage. Look at him. Because he was... I could hear him all the way upstairs scratching. Because it's thundering outside. And he's scared to death. Like literally scared to death of thunder. So I had to go get him. And he's been sitting in my room ever since. And I was trying to film. And he was making the world's craziest noises. <laughs> he was freaking out and I was like mm, relax it's not that big of a deal you making me stop recording like I was literally in the middle of a sponsored video and he was like pawing the ground I was like if you could not that'd be great but anyway um I don't even know what I was gonna say I haven't even decided what color I'm gonna do my nails at all no nothing it's okay and I know I'm gonna want a snack so I'm going to need to grab one of those before I go. And we'll get on the road. I'm in my hot girl summer era. I'm in my hot girl summer era. Did you hear me? These nails? Please. Please. They are gel. They are from the brand Beatles. Um... Or that's a gel polish brand. It's Beatles. But y'all know I got a Salma. She gets me right every time. If you don't have a good nail girl, I literally feel so sorry for you. Because I didn't have a good nail girl for a long time. And once I started going to her, she said, You have the crispiest, best cuticles in the whole entire world. I mean, like, look at that. She goes all out. Okay? Um, so, anyways. Stunning. Like, I was like, I don't know what color I'm going to get. Just something that speaks to me. Saw this color I was spoken to. Point blank, period. Also, I got Starbucks on my way up. And they were heinous in the Starbucks. She's like, here. And I was like, mm, thank you, Melinda, for my $5.73 coffee that you're so rude about. Anyways, so now I'm on my way back. It's a little an hour there, an hour back. I'm so tired of traveling, not even gonna lie to you. Just wanna lay down for a week. Um, and I'm starving half to death. I had literally one meal today, and that was way earlier, and I'm so hungry. Oh, the game's about to start. Chase is playing tonight. Um,. I'm so excited. I love to watch him play, obviously. Anyways, so that's that. I'm on my way home. I have to film another TikTok. I posted a perfume TikTok, but I have to film another TikTok like in the car. I wrote it down. And I was supposed to have a meeting, but the girl never called me, so I was like, period. Um, but anyways, that's what's happening. I'm so excited about my nails. Like, actually so excited. that They look so good. Um, this is probably one of my favorite like nails that I've ever done, honestly. And, like, I just think that it fits the summer vibe so well. Like, it's just so cute you know what I mean like but also schmexy so I'm gonna head on home and give me some freaking food because I'm starved and I really don't want to pay for food in town because it's gonna cost me 20 bucks and I feel like I've spent one billion dollars on food this year so 